Hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss when you take this month on month difference you actually want to see month number not like current month versus last month so let me tell you what exactly i want mean by that so let's take uh, one example and i'll explain you uh, using that that what exactly you wanted and what exactly we are showing so first of all let me tell you what we are showing and what you actually wanted so basically this is what we show so if you say if i selected january so i'll say okay this is my you know mtd sales this is my last month sales and then i can have instead of lmtd i can have a diff of those two but what exactly you wanted from us is you wanted that i should show you in this manner so basically you let's say if i select january again here also so you wanted january and then you want december so let's compare a little bit here uh so these are the numbers uh 44 and 51 so you wanted the same number 44 and 51 here but you wanted them to be shown like december and january and then you wanted a diff now this is something which we miss in our approach of time intelligence when we use so how can we we get that so let me tell you what's why we are suggesting right now what you actually wanted and how can we achieve that So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my file, which is basically my AT small GitHub, which you can also get uh, um, on the GitHub, and let me save it with let's say AT uh, month diff with name. Okay, some name we give. We give. And this is my generic data model. Those of you are following my series, they know that I have a sales table, and this sales table is basically. Um, having uh, the date table uh, joined on the sales date item dimension with joined on the item id it do have a customer id joining on customer uh, table and city id joining on the city table so these are the various stuff which this ha this has and this is the model which i am using for quite some time so those who are following my videos might be aware of this now what we wanted to know here is basically how do we achieve this so first of all we need to know what what we are achieving till now so let's do what we are doing till now so let me see if i already have a mtd major in this file so let me search for that okay so i already have the mtd major so let me show you what i am doing here so i say sales mtd which is calculate sales now what is my sales major let me also show you sales is nothing by my net sales some of my net sales so my base majors okay i do have a net sales major also and then i have a sales major also sales is nothing but uh, sum of net sales which is coming from sales table and this is what i am using there and i do have a net sales column also now let's look at the mtd and lmtd how we are calculate so mtd we are saying calculate sales calculate sales and then we are using time intelligence function which is dates mtd and i am using a date table you already seen in my model i have a date table that date table is marked as a date table and all the six rules which i have told to you we are we are applying those six rules in creating these things okay now this is my sales mtd and how do i get the prior month or the last month i actually move my date a month behind okay that's what i am doing here so what i do does here is basically i move my date one month behind so this is what i get okay so now let me put it into the visual and tell you how does it look like so i'm going to create item i dragged item and i'm using the on object interactions so you might find it little bit different if you are not using that so if i say sales mtd and sales mtd and then i can convert it into a table visual okay now if you want to see the month number then i'll say okay create it instead of this one make it as a matrix visual and then you can put month on the top month here should come from the date table that's how it should come so we go to our date table and from the date table we do bring in the month here on the column as a field so now you will get it now you are going to get all those month here so we'll say okay we want to filter a particular one so drag it and then make it as a slicer and let's say we filter january 2019 now we got it 
but you see there is even if i take a diff major let's say if i create a diff major you say i don't need prior one why don't you create a diff major so i create a new major which I'll let me call as diff or mom and which i can say lmtd mtd minus lmtd or i can get the percentage whatever you want and then what i can do in this visual i can click here and here instead of this one or i can click in this arrow and then i can search for the major which i created newly which is mom i can use that okay so now even now the problem here is this mom is coming in the grand total it is repeating and all those things this doesn't seems like the visual which i created separately and that's what we wanted so for that we need to do little bit of changes first of all when i select a month irrespective of whatever i do i can't get the second month name so to do that you might have if you are a regular watcher of the channel you might be knowing we always talked about an independent table so we need an independent date table so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the script of the date table and that's why i these days i'm creating these date table using the script so that we can easily copy and create a new one so what we are going to do cop we clicked on this one date table and once i click on the date table i got this script okay here is my date table i'm going to copy this script and click on new table from the table tools which is available here on the top and i paste this now i call it as date 2 and once i click it i'll get another table date table i need to make sure that it is not joined before i do that i click on month year because my month year sorting need to be corrected i already have a month year sort column because jan feb march is text and it is not going to sort correctly so i will always have a month sort column if you are not aware please watch the uh, sort column episode for about that now i have to go back to my model and ensure that these two this table is not joined with that one so i see the date table too it doesn't have any join and i can drag it and put it nearby and you can see that it doesn't have any join okay so that's ensured now how do i do that now i need to create a one page now in this page first of all my filter has to come from this table okay so if i slicer is going to come from this table it is definitely not going to impact anything right now on my visualization so let me do that let me try to see if i can copy this visual from this page to another page so i taken this and i say paste it now irrespective of whatever i do you can see that there is no changes which is happening here because we need to create a major so the first thing which i need to do is i'm going to create a major which is basically uh, let me click on the majors and let me create a major which is basically a sales which follows this okay well, to follow the sales what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take a approach that i'm assuming that it's going to be selected like one month kind of thing getting selected okay so that's the approach i'm going to do so i'm going to create a month sales major and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to find out the max date which is selected so i'm going to say where underscore max is equal to max x all selected date to comma date two dot date so sometime it so if any give a space it doesn't suggest properly so i believe in copy and paste at that time and we don't need dot date now i have to mark that also as a date table that we'll also going to do so you can see if i don't mark it as a date table it do show this uh, like you know date variable which we actually don't want to use date dot date and all those things we don't now what is going to be my minimum date now i got the date which is going to be of january i selected one month and that's what i'm saying that my assumption is that i'm going to select this one now what i can do here is basically um uh, i want to go a month i want two month to be displayed i selected one month and i want to display two months so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say eo month and then i will go, say max and i will go so if i want to display two months so if i want to display the same month data i go the one month back and then come back so i want to go two months back and then let me come back one month let's see what happens 
okay and then i say return so i have a minimum date i have a maximum date maximum date is so maximum date is the date which i selected the 31st jan now 31st jan is going to be the maximum date because i selected january 2019 and the minimum date is going to be minus 2 month which is december and then november and then plus 1 day which is 1st december so that's what my is and then i sim simply say calculate net comma filter now remember there is no filter on the date table and that is what we wanted we don't want it to have a filter on the date table so we say date dot date is greater than or equal to underscore minimum now i am putting the filter on the date and this is the reason why we do all this stuff we we are doing this stuff to make sure that we don't get any join with the date table now i got that now what i am going to do on this page i am going to go and take that major month sales okay so what i am going to do i am going to click on this um icon and here i am going to remove this major and i am going to bring in the major month sales okay and now you see two months you see very happy okay two months i am getting good but where is the difference and you were showing difference here now wait on Now one thing before I I actually told tell you that major one thing I need to do I need to find out a prior major. Now to find out a prior major, how do we do that? Okay, so let me drag. I do already have a prior major, isn't it? LMTD. So what happens if I drag that major here? Now you see the moment I drag LMTD here, LMTD is for all the months. Okay, it's not restricted only to the current picture. so if i by months because my current thing was restricted but this is not restricted actually you can see all the months coming out here okay so but that's what i don't want like let's let's see if i can move till january now here is the place where you see the both the things are coming in you know, for the two months and then the also good thing you can also see that this lmtd this value of december is coming in the january that's that's what i wanted so this is not going to suffice the need so what i'm going to tell you and this is what we are going to merge the formula later that okay i take this formula i go here and let me try to create one more major prior month sales i was not able to copy that properly so let me go back bring in this major again control c new major and this is something i have i have not shown you in the past what i am going to do here is this is this look at this important i am going to say calculate i can use the dates mtd also but here i am using previous month okay okay and i am using date of date and after using this previous month and date of date i am using a calculate inside this one this see this, this see the difference i am creating a prior month major and that major i am putting inside my range and now what i do here is once i created that so see look at this part of the code this is the rest of the part of the code is same but i forced a previous month major here and i am using the date table to do that i am not doing any calculation based on my dates right now which is coming from an independent table okay so this is the important part this is almost kind of giving me another major here i could have calculated it separately okay so now let us see what difference this is going to make so i bring in prior month sales here now i remove this one and to do that i can simply click on the arrow and i can go here and say prior now let me bring in this now what you see here is look look at the difference what you see here is basically now is that you have the december and then you have the november value which we can't validate but we can validate these two value see these two values if i will make it little bit bigger and let me move this and let me make it little bit bigger again here now you can see this is the same december value month sale is repeating in the prior month you say what's fine okay why to do this now i'll tell you one more trick so i don't want this grand total to why do i need this grand total i need this difference in the grand total to get the difference in the grand total i need to change my major in the grand total 
So first thing what I want to do is I just want to copy this code because I want to do that calculation there in that major. So I don't want two major, I want one major only. So what I can do here is basically remember one thing which we have, I taught you quite a few times in my videos, something known as is in scope. So I say if is in scope date dot month year. If the date dot month year is in scope, then you do this. And if you want more than or, 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 or. Otherwise, what you do is, you give me prior month. You don't want prior month, isn't it? So what do you do? Current minus prior. You could move this calculation to variable and check it out. For the simplicity's sake, I'm just going to bring this now like this. So what I'm saying right now in this major is that you bring in the sales, bring in the current month sales, or bring in the sales using this formula, which is actually giving me the current month sales for the two months. And then you use that prior month formula and take a diff with the current month sales when it is the month here is not in scope and month here is on the column. So in the column when it goes to the grand total, the month will go out of the scope, month here will go out of the scope and I'll get my grand total. And remember, we are using month here from the date table on the column. The independent table is only used in slicer and that's, that's how we use these things. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this up and remember these numbers Okay, now I'm going to open this again and I'm going to just cross this down. Now, we see there is number which is coming in which doesn't seem right to me, right? Let us see if we put the last one here. Does it come correct? So now whenever we don't get that, this is what we do. We, we just do one step at a time. Okay, so this December number, okay, this is not December number. This is which number? This is, this number is from where? This number is from month of November because previous month gives us, because there is no scope and we are giving two months. So it's going to take the first month. So let now let me use dates MTD or if I don't want to use dates MTD, then I have to do one more difference. I can do still do that, that I take more, one more minimum here. I'll tell you, we'll keep minimum one and I'll, uh, this is the one difference which you should also understand that previous month takes the, the first date and the first date of the scope was this minimum. Now let's change this. Now we see the same numbers. So now when we do this current month minus previous month, which is exactly same number. Now similarly, there is one more thing which is missing. This is this number is again for two months in the grand total. This is not one month total. This is two months total in the grand total. So that's why when we look at the row level, we were looking at correct data. But when we come at the grand total, that's where we start facing the issue because grand total is sum of the two months. So now I make it one month data. So this is one month data and this is one month data going prior. And now let's look at the difference. So three zero and uh, this is nine and then this is going to be seven and this is going to four three so it seems like this is correct difference so these are the calculation differences what we have made now we could have simplified by moving this calculation separately and that calculation separately but now you know what we have got so now we are able to go so now there is a difference when you are calculating at the grand total level when the month is in not in scope our calculations are a little bit different okay so now look at the calculation differences these seems correct okay 24 it should be 10. This is actually less so in the 19. Okay. So go ahead and try this out. Now this is approach again around the independent tables. We have done quite a few videos around how to use the independent table and uh, what are the various use cases uh, when you want to show trend. Now this is kind of a trend only. We are showing a two months trend basically. Uh, and then what we are doing is we are using is in scope to use the grand total to change that. Okay. Now one thing which is there, you might have seen this was not total there. So for that, there is a small trick. You go to the properties now, uh, to the more options. If you go, you will get the properties. Inside that, go to the column subtotals here on the right hand side. And you say, uh, let's see if we can simply rename it. We you can click on the subtotal label and you can call it diff percentage or MOM percentage, whatever you want. You can give that name. I can give, want to give only diff, not diff percentage because it's not diff percentage. Now, when we calculate the diff percentage, I'm going to do that. Okay. So go ahead and try this out too. Let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular use case. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.